10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. And lift off. when the propulsion is nominal. T-plus 40 seconds since the launch of Falcon 9. Propulsion is confirmed. Merlin's lift nominal. Power and telemetry are confirmed nominal from the avionics engineer. We're throttling down right now on the Merlin 1D engines. Preparing for supersonic and max Q. Knock one. You've got the call out from Mach 1. We have throttled the Merlins back up to full power. Next event will be maximum dynamic pressure. And there we are. We're going through the thickest portion of the atmosphere at the highest speeds. Now, as we continue to accelerate Falcon 9, the air density gets thinner and the loads on the vehicle decrease. A minute 30 seconds, trajectory continues to look good. Come back, Dicho. That D-chill indicates we're now beginning to bleed a little bit of liquid oxygen through the upper stage engine turbo pump to get it ready for ignition coming up in just about 40 seconds from now. Nice view from the ground camera looking up the long plume coming out of the nine Merlin 1D engines. Now major event coming up will be main engine cutoff coming up at just after two and a half minutes called Miko. We shut off all the nine engines. We'll separate the first stage from the second stage, and we will ignite the second stage engine called SES-1, the second stage engine start number one. Beginning to throttle down. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And we've Second got successful engine. MVAC full power ignition. The view on the right shows the MVAC engine, the second stage now taking over, carrying the Starlink and Black Sky satellites to orbit. On the left screen, the first stage is continuing without power to coast to Apogee, and you can see the large titanium grid fins beginning to open with the lights of the United States in the background as we slowly head up the eastern coast of America. And next coming up will be fairing separation. There's a view of the fairing. And we confirm fairing separation. 